Hey, what's up? Pizza Loving Nerd here. The go-to application for creating Linux USBs is probably Rufus for most people. However, Rufus is actually Windows only. Now, there are some other tools that do work cross-platform, such as Etcher. However, Etcher doesn't work with some operating systems for me. However, Rosa, which is what I'm, this video is about, has worked on pretty much every operating system I've tried it on. So today, I'm going to show you how you can create a Linux USB using Rosa. Okay, so for the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to en.rosalinux.com and we'll head over to downloads. And I don't know why, but today my internet is being dog slow. And once you're at downloads, it will say the recommended program for burning ISOs to a USB disk. Now, this is just the recommended uh, program for just Rosa. However, it tends to work on most uh, operating systems. But you're going to want to click on either Windows, Mac, Linux 32-bit, or Linux 64-bit. Now, I'm on Linux, so I'm going to click Linux 64-bit, and then we'll save it. And as you can see, my internet is being dog slow, so be right back. Alright, so now that it's downloaded, we're going to want to extract it. Now, uh, on macOS, it will be a DMG file, so you could just take it and drag the uh, .app file into your downloads or applications, it doesn't matter. But you should know how to install something from a DMG file. Now to open it, you just gotta double click it, even on Windows and Mac. And then so on Linux, it might make you enter in your password. And there we go. Now on some distros, you will have to run it using sudo dot slash uh, rosa image writer. However, on this distro, you don't have to do with that. Now, obviously you will need a USB drive because this is a USB burning tool. So now just select your image or ISO. I'm gonna use Ubuntu 1904. Select your USB and then click right. Then it will ask if you want to erase all your data and just simply select yes. Alright, so once it is done, it will say the operation completed successfully. And then you can just press OK. And now if I open up Nautilus, as you can see here, I have a Linux USB. Now if you want to store something on the USB again, uh, you can write, you can kind of write clear. However, uh, it, it doesn't, it still has some partitions and stuff. So I would recommend going into Gparted or, uh, something, a partitioning tool. I recommend going into Gparted or something and uh, heading over to the USB and creating a new partition table with MS-DOS. Then once you do that, I'll just create a FAT32 file system and boom, I have my USB back. I just gotta apply it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you like what I do on this channel, please consider donating using the links below in the description.